In their own words, the IGN Editor's Choice Award is a sign of excellence only given to the very best games. In this video, I'm going to look at the nine gaming consoles from the PlayStation 1 to the Nintendo Wii and count down those systems with the highest percentage of games that receive the IGN Editor's Choice Award. The objective is simple, see which systems IGN thought the most highly of, and to address that nagging rumor and innuendo. Does IGN really have an anti-Xbox bias? Do they favor Sony? Nintendo? It's time to find out. Number 9. We kick off our list with a system that's had more than 900 games reviewed by IGN. And of those games, 124 of them were given the IGN Editor's Choice Award giving an award rate of 13%. Which system is it? It's none other than the PlayStation 1. And for some additional context, this is a platform that had 14 games with a 9.5 or higher IGN review score, although no perfect 10s that I could find. Number 8. With well over 1300 games reviewed by IGN, this system racked up 179 Editor's Choice Awards giving an award rate of 13.1%, just barely higher than the PlayStation 1. It's the Nintendo Wii, a system famous for its high volume of so-called shovelware, and this position on the rankings somewhat confirms that. Now the Wii did have 20 games with a 9.5 score or higher, and 4 games that achieved perfect 10s from IGN, but I must point out that IGN tended to review older Nintendo games again on the Wii, and so this number may be wildly exaggerated. In fact, I'm almost certain that it is. Number 7. IGN reviewed a total of 302 games on this system, and ultimately gave out 42 Editor's Choice Awards, a rate of nearly 14%. It's the system that me and my friends probably played more than any other as teenagers. The Nintendo 64. The 64 managed 10 games with a 9.5 or higher from IGN, including one perfect 10, the epic Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, a game for which I ditched many classes to play. Number 6. We're going to make a relatively big jump in award rates now. This is a legendary system that IGN reviewed a total of nearly 1,700 games for, and of those games, they awarded over 300 of them the Editor's Choice Award. With an award rate of nearly 19%, it's the PlayStation 2, a system that had a massive 35 games with scores at or above a 9.5 from IGN. Without a doubt, it's one of the biggest and most important systems of modern gaming. Captain Obvious, I know. Number 5. My favorite gaming machine, with 286 reviewed games and clocking in with 59 choice awards, giving an award rate of 20.6%, it's the Sega Dreamcast. Additionally, the Dreamcast had 13 games that IGN gave a 9.5 or higher score to, and had one perfect 10, Soul Calibur. Number 4. With just over 500 games reviewed, this one clocks in with an impressive 110 choice awards, giving the system an award rate of 21.6%. It's the GameCube. On top of the awards, the system has 9 games with a 9.5 or higher score, although no perfect scores on the GameCube. Number 3. One of my personal favorites. With over 1600 games reviewed in total, this console had a massive 366 choice awards giving an award rate of 22.4%, the Xbox 360. The 360 also has an incredible 46 games with a 9.5 or higher score, including four perfect 10s. Number two, another one of the big boys. With over 1,300 games reviewed, this black box racked up 342 awards, giving a rate of 25.2%. Think about that, one in four games that they reviewed was given an Editor's Choice Award. It's the PlayStation 3. The PS3 had 36 games that scored a 9.5 or higher, and this system had 7 perfect 10s. So what on earth could beat this to get the number one spot? Number one. This one surprised me and I would have never guessed it. With 821 games reviewed, it totaled 212 awards 
giving an award rate of nearly 26%. It's the original Xbox. The system didn't have any perfect 10s, but it did have 15 games that got a 9.5 or higher score. Super impressive. Taking a step back and looking at this overall list of systems, I can't help but be struck by the high positions of the two Xbox consoles. I often hear that IGN is supposedly anti-Xbox, but this list doesn't tell that story. In fact, this list tells quite the opposite story. IGN editors seemingly thought a lot of the Xbox libraries over the years. It will be interesting to revisit this analysis after the end of this generation and see where the current crop of systems land on this chart. That does it for me once again. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're interested in the Xbox, I am working on a big original Xbox video that should be out sooner than later. And in the meantime, I'll have some shorter videos to keep the channel nice and fresh. So please like, subscribe, comment. Every little thing helps and every little thing is appreciated. Until next time, all the best and the sky's the limit.